The flexors in Smash Bros do pretty much exactly what you'd expect them to do. You have the standard ones like Fox, which, well, it reflects. It's just that simple. Then you've got Mr. Game and Watches, which works like some kind of, I guess, pseudo counter. That's the best way I could really put it. Then you've got K Rules, which basically works like a counter itself, but it doesn't work whenever it's facing the opposite way. Then you've got Kazuya's, which has its own unique input. Kazuya's is also really interesting as it's the most powerful reflector in the entire series. But then you've got Pit. Pit's got two reflectors. His Guardian Orbitars and his Upper Dash Arm. And his Upper Dash Arm is possibly one of the weirdest reflectors in the entire game. A lot of people just think that the Upper Dash Arm launches stuff in a 50 degree angle. But that's not the only weird thing it does. Depending on the move, the actual upper dash arm reflector will sometimes function quite a lot like your average reflector and just reflect in the standard direction. But here's the strange thing. With some moves, it seems to work like how you'd expect. But sometimes it just doesn't. Like with Terry's Power Wave, using the Arbitage reflects it and it does the normal damage like you'd expect. But with Upper Dash Arm, it doesn't harm Terry. Quite possibly the most illogical one I've found through testing is its interaction with Arc Thunder. Watch this. Strange, isn't it? 